Grand Finals. Reminders that this is um, counter picks, so the loser of this game will will be able to pick the stage of their choice on the next uh, set mode. So early on, we're gonna see double. We're gonna see triple rain once again coming out from Hardcore Noobs and from ITAT. We're gonna see the ITAT special in the tent K Pro, uh, NZAP, and uh, Splat Charger. So early on, no one's gonna go down just yet. It is pretty neutral here. NZAP almost has his armor at the ready. Does have the armor at the ready, but one member on each side gonna go down. But the NZAP unfortunately gonna go down to those blobs from the uh, blah blah or there as hardcore noobs are going to look to take it to the left hand side and they are doing just that but the stingray coming out immediately stopping that push right in his tracks booyah bomb as well on top of it great special coordination coming out from itap as they look to halt hardcore noobs in their tracks and they do just that tent coming in applying more pressure as well but the but hardcore noobs sneaking it right past and able to push it all the way to 48 but i tap able to stop it at 48 and are looking to keep it at 48 but hardcore noobs gonna sneak it right past and push it all the way to 38 just and now hardcore noobs keeping it keeping it going as they are currently Keep, they're keeping the pressure, keeping, and they're just keep, and they just keep jumping in, back to back, grabbing this rainmaker. And now the blob keeping it there, applying pressure onto the rainmaker shield. Mizu gonna apply, uh, going to going to assist the tent there with that kill. Is gonna find an assist off of the uh, junior there now the stamp currently at the ready and unfortunately tent gonna go down to a bomb from the junior and now Harker Newt currently playing some great defense at the moment now a trade for trade two members down on each side Rainmaker being the only one up for Hardcore Noobs with the I believe the try came around and flanked as it did pick up a pick off, off the charger there. And now Hardcore Noobs are gonna look to continue this push that they have Rain currently pushing it even further. And now Hardcore Noobs trying to push it even further here as they try to push push it past this 34 point marker. Tent goes down unfortunately for ITAP. Two down situation, but ITAP going to stop it there at 18, but Hardcore Noobs looking in a great position to possibly continue this if they can, but the flank coming in and ITAP being well aware of that, able to clean that up. Now two members down on the side of Hardcore Noobs as they are looking to take it to this far left hand side and uh, look to, pa and look at to push it past this 98 point marker for the first time in this game. Now Butter trying to seize the charger gets a tried to pick him up, but is going to go down there in a I believe a trade. Now Mizu gonna find a pick onto the blah 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 there. That is key as the blah blah has been applying a lot of pressure in the past Rainmaker games for um or just in the past games for hardcore noobs. And now Booyah Bomb gonna be used. Unfortunate Rainmaker gonna go down. Tri Slasher gonna come in, find the pick. Is gonna opt to use Rain on their own spot. But Butter wisely jumping it off. But ITAP are keeping up the pressure as they still have members here on this on, on that uh right hand side of Harkar Noobs. But Rain cu currently coming in and the tent shield gonna get shredded there. With plenty of bombs to spare on the side of um on the side of hardcore noobs. Now with thirty something seconds left, about thirty seconds left. Uh, I tap are currently three down, and this game is looking in favor of hardcore noobs right now. But I tap are looking like they could possibly kill the rainmaker as the tent yeeting the stamp at the I believe at the blob there. 
and they aren't able to find the pick just yet on the Rainmaker, but nine seconds left. They need to find the pick onto this Rainmaker in the last few seconds and get the pop. If they can, they only have three members up on the side of ITAP right now. As they do try to pop, they do pop it, but over time they have to pick it up. But hardcore noobs are going to look to pick it up. But Mizu coming in with a nice pick. I believe the pick to save the game. There for ITAP. But the try coming in from the left, but going to get cleaned up pretty nicely there. But the junior waiting there, lying in wait, trying to find a couple picks. But Rainmaker still alive for ITAP. As, bo as bombs and blobs coming in from every which direction. Gonna take out the Rainmaker in the end. So I believe the counter pick for ITAP is going to be Tower Control Ink Blot Art Academy. All right, so we're gonna see a uh, double rain and a K Pro this time instead of a blob coming out from Hardcore Noobs. And on the side of ITAP, we're gonna see a Sorella Brella, but we're gonna see more of the same. And early on, the Sorella Brella and the Inzap are gonna go down early on. So once again, Hardcore Noobs opting for that no backline, the no backline comp that they have been rocking. I'm pretty sure all tournament. Or at least all of top cut. And now the booyah bomb gonna come in, take out butter. Well, no, the brella gonna take out butter. And in there and now I tap looking like in a good position to continue to continue off with this uh, push but K Pro gonna come in take out the Sorella Brilla but ends up gonna take out the try there but Stingray coming in gonna apply some more pressure on to the side of hardcore noob so Right now, it looks like ITAP are applying a lot of pressure here. Is that is three down on the side of Hardcore Noobs? Is that is three down on the side of Hardcore Noobs? Now, two specials currently at the ready. As the bomb rush is going to go down for ITAP there. As Butter trying to find a pick onto the K Pro, but is going to opt to pop the rain before going down. 
there. Right now, it's gonna be hardcore noobs trying to uh, get a push going here as they try to clear this second checkpoint. Um, but the brella gonna drop onto the pro here and punish that nicely there as great teamwork coming out from both these Inzap and the brella there in that situation. But the Inzap gonna opt the pop armor here as a try opting the backup. It is going to win the best of that exchange there. So one down on each side, but the charger gonna spot that gonna spot that flank reacting to his teammates call out looks like the charger gonna jump to a teammate but unfortunately he's gonna jump into a member of hardcore noobs and the pro gonna take him down there but three two, two specials currently at the ready for hardcore noobs booyah bomb and well double rain being used here and it is going to put itap on the back foot as harker noobs trying to clear that uh, second checkpoint but the brella coming in stalling the tower there and now harker noobs are going to clear this uh this final this uh second checkpoint excuse me and take the lead there As Booyah Bomb currently coming in, it looks like Hardcore Noobs are going to clear through this final checkpoint. Trying to possibly take the game here, but ITAP coming in, playing well enough defense to make it a three down situation on the side of Hardcore Noobs. But they have to push in these last few seconds here. They have to one push in these last few seconds here in order to take this, in order to take this game. And they have three specials and they have four specials right now popping the armor opting to pop the booyah bomb and the and the bomb rush and also ray coming out as well but the tower gonna be rushed down and i believe a member of hardcore noobs sneaks on able to find it able to get on and take that game for hardcore noobs So we will, we will be waiting the counter pick of ITAB as we heading to game number three as hardcore noobs are currently up two to zero.
All right, game three of grand finals. We have uh, ITEF counterpick, Splatstone's new Albacore Hotel, and we're going to see a backline for the first time coming up from Hardcore Noobs, the Vanilla Jet, and Neo Splash, a junior, and a Tri Slasher still. But on the side of ITEF, we're going to see the Kenza Glugas and a uh, Bamboozler, a K Shot, and a uh, Tentabrella. Once again. So right now, uh, Hardcore Noobs currently on the back foot as they're going to be pushed back with that armor and that tent, uh, armor missiles and that tent shield. And now right now, ITAP are looking in great position right now as the stamp coming in and also the suction bomb coming in, picking off two members there. Mizzle trying to find a pick on to the tri slasher, but it is going to get cleaned up by the uh, splash there. But uh, Aster... Great job of uh, denying the splash there from possibly making his way back into zone. And now it looks like zone will be going back into favor of ITEP as they're looking to knock this out right right here. And now as this zone is currently ticking down in favor of ITEP right now as the rain coming out. Zone currently neutralized right now as but but Hardcore Newt's able to cap off of that um, off of that rain there. And a few picks. And now the try, wait, lying in wait for the 10, is going to bomb it off the shield. Very nice pick from the try slasher. It is going to go down there in the end. But ITAP still have plenty of time to work with as they do have a pretty big lead. But it is hardcore noobs who are, on, uh, who are the ones trying to climb uh, back from this deficit here. As they are pushing it all the way to 52 and they are doing... And it looks like they are doing a fantastic job so far holding zone as they are holding it through all of this chaos, stamps, missiles, and everything. But they will lose it here as they are going to go three down in this situation. Now, Butter going to find two picks there. Uh, and that is going to be a three-down situation on the side of ITEP. As Harker Newt's trying to eat away at the penalty that is applied to them. But the 10, being a nuisance, unfortunately going to go down to the bomb of the junior in that situation there. But it looks like Zone is going to go back into the favor of ITAP as stamps. And I believe armor was used in that retake there. But bomb, a lot of bombs coming out from uh, Hardcore Noobs as they are going to use the rain. But the tent going to go down, unfortunately, there as a tri slasher was able to find that pick. But missiles coming in from ITAP as the force the members of Hard the force Hardcore uh, Noobs off of the zone. There and a were a, and ITAP are able to cap the zone once again, but but are gonna find one pick tries to find two, but the armor gonna come in and deny that. But bomb rush coming in, missiles coming in as well from ITAP, and this is gonna be neutralized for the time being. But it looks like it may be going back into the favor of hardcore noobs, and it is. As the try making his way, trying to find the pick onto the bamboo. It can't find one. The bamboo, unfortunately, going to fall into the water. Trying to find to, a pick onto the tent, unfortunately, is going to go down. Ultra stamp and missile is going to be used right away from ITAP. They're trying to cap here. Um, armor being used from Hardcore Noobs as picks are coming in. One member down, two members down. ITAP trying to find a pick onto the try. They do just that. Missile's going to be used. Unfortunately, going to go down to the bomb. And now, Hardcore Noobs eat, uh, are through their penalty. And they are possibly going to take the lead. They are going to take the lead. As they are currently taking down to this time. They have to... Wow. Um, Hardcore Noobs able to hold on through all of that. And able to come back. Taking 
the final game. Oh, not final game. Excuse me. Sorry. Taking the game there in those final seconds. So we wait for both teams to ready up. We're heading into game four. Clamblitz on Snapper Canal. Game number four. This is possibly, this possibly could be the final game, as ITAP are currently down three to zero. Harker noobs up three zero. Um, we are going to see a. We are going to see a Hydra coming out from ITAP, a Brush and a K Pro along with the uh, Tent Dabrella as well. And on the side of Hardcore Noobs, we're going to see Double Rain once again, Junior and a Squeezer. We've seen this comp before against, I believe, Labyrinth X. But one member going to go down for ITAP. Uh, Brush coming in with a Splashdown. Not able to pick off one with the Splashdown, but is going to pick off one in the Tri Slasher. Unfortunately, is going to go down to the um, CDS. As the as ITAP currently trying to find their way back in, as Hardcore Noobs currently have complete control of both mid and also the left and right hand sides. Currently, as they do have two special, but the rain, but the CD is gonna go down with that rain. And if they can pick off this Junior, possibly that does have armor and a power climb, that'd be key. But the Junior gonna pop out, gonna pop, gonna jump out wisely and pop that armor. But unfortunately, the um, Caper not the Capro, the Tri Slasher is going to go down for them. But Tri Slasher, I believe I'm not Tri Slasher. I believe ITAP had three specials at the ready, but unfortunately one member went down for them. But uh, a great stop there for ITAP. Able to stop uh, that oncoming push from hardcore noobs, but the hardcore noobs are able to get in that one power clam um in the end there. But that's only a push to eighty as hardcore noobs are only able to get in one power clam. And now this is a great opportunity for ITAP to possibly set up in this position. And possibly uh, start a big push here. But yep, I'm gonna be gonna be used to force the squeezer back on this right hand side. Armor also was already used but i believe a flank came in and i believe the squeezer gonna go in gonna come in jump in gonna jump in throwing that uh throwing that ball there but as it's gonna be a three down situation on the side of hardcore noobs and i tap are looking in quite a favorable position to possibly 
um, get something off of this push. They're gonna, there's gonna be a jump in. Clam's gonna be thrown in. As ITAP are going to take the lead. Tent is still in here, causing quite a ruckus. And now, Mizu trying to jump in with that power clam. Unfortunately, couldn't get it. But Aster coming in yet again with that brush. Uh, throwing in the power clam there and throwing in a couple more clams as the Hydra going to come in, throw a couple more clams as well. And that's going to be a push to possibly 16 if Aster can get some more clams in, but unfortunately cannot. So this is going to be a push to 16 as ITEP, I believe, get their first push of, of, this, uh, of this game off. And a good push it was. And now looks like Butter gonna try to flank in from this right hand side. Is gonna be is able to find himself in here, but I believe he is waiting for a jump. And I believe the members of ITEP are not aware of that he is there just yet, as he did trigger off that mine. But the CD is able to roll in there and uh, get that power clamp. But I believe that's all gonna, they're, they're gonna be able to get in as a squeezer trying to force their way in with the bubbles. But the members of ITEP able to shred that right away. So about a minute a left into this game and there's still plenty of time for either team for hardcore noobs to take this game and for um, ITEP to possibly increase their uh, increase their lead or even KO here so right now playing pretty neutral so far as the members of hardcore noobs are making their way back in uh, squeeze a force to pop bubbles there 30 about 30 seconds left bubbles were popped tent gonna pop the stamp gonna disrupt the members uh, gonna disrupt the push of Hardcore News back in, but it looks like ITAP going to get their push off in enough time right before Hardcore News were able to get their push in. And ITAP going to hold on to a couple clowns wisely here, waiting for that overtime. Possibly going to try to knock it out here. Unfortunately, they miss. Unfortunately, they miss. And all right, well, forget about overtime. Um, ITAP take game number four. So I tap gonna make it three to one, and we are now waiting the counter pick of, um, of um, of um, um hardcore noobs. Excuse me. So we still have a set here that is currently 3 to 1. ITAPs uh, need to win three games in order to take the set. Only two more to tie the set up 3 to 3. So currently, I believe it will be Tower Control. I believe Tower Control. Um, Wahoo World will be the counter pick of Hardcore Noobs. And we have only seen the Wahoo World uh, Sweat Zones. Um, throughout this uh, tournament. But just a quick plug here. Uh, Low Ink. September edition is coming up next weekend. They do have a prize pool. I forgot how much it was, but they do have a prize pool. It is for teams in the Div 4 to 8 range. So feel free to sign up if you qualify to play in Low Ink as they are celebrating their two year anniversary. So it should be a great turnout and a great chance to. Um, 
see how you measure up against other lower level teams that cannot play in Little Squid League. Alright, we're heading into hardcore noobs. Uh, counter pick. Tower control on Wahoo World. So we're going to see more of the same this time from. We're going to see more of the same from ITEP. Instead of a Sorella, we're going to see the tent once again. And from hardcore noobs, we're going to see the double rain armor and uh, K Pro. And I tend, I'm gonna apply some early pressure onto the onto the glass of hardcore noobs, uh, uh, backing up the junior, and with the armor uh, quite early on from coming out from ITAP, they're looking to apply a lot of pressure as ITAP was the first ones to push the tower. A tent, unfortunately, gonna go down to that double bomb, but teammate was there to clean it up for them. Booyah bomb gonna be used here. I believe it is going to be the try behind the tower. The try is going to find a pick. Possibly going to find two. Is going to find two. As Butter here has been putting in work so far this whole tournament with their try slosher. His armor and rain already on the armor being already being used for hardcore noobs. Rain was at the ready, but going to go down. But they do have a second ring, possibly at the ready, as they are going to Optipot the Booyah Bomb and also the Rain as well from the CDS. I believe armor was already. I believe armor's coming in just now. As hardcore noobs are trying to look to possibly uh, take the lead here, and they do just that as they get to this first checkpoint. And now Johnny trying to, uh, the K Pro trying to find um, the pick onto the onto the charger there, as they were caught peeking. And now Miz is gonna find a trade with the try uh, with the try slasher. And now is only one up as the K Pro for Hardcore Noobs is the only one up. I believe a jump came in for Hardcore Noobs. That's gonna go down immediately there. Now they have Stingray currently at the ready. Stab almost at the ready for the tent as well, along with that Booyah Bomb as the intercept did go down in that exchange. But one going to go down for Hardcore Noobs. Try Slaughter going to try to uh, apply some pressure from this right hand side. But they are going to opt to back up as they do have that armor. Despite having that armor. A one on Glass Jr. Going to opt to back up possibly there. And now try gonna get spotted out there by members of ITAP is gonna get cleaned up. As Harker Noob's gonna try to push the tower even further. As Booyah Bomb gonna be used. And unfortunately the bomb gonna take out um Mizu there. As ITAP are currently three members down, and Hardcore Noobs have all all four members on that checkpoint, on that tower to clear that checkpoint pretty fast. Uh, pretty fast there. Now rain gonna be used from the tribe, but there's gonna be one member down for hardcore noobs. As armor is gonna be used as well. And now hardcore noobs currently looking like they could possibly. Uh, in this game right here if they can continue this push but they are going to get shut down there as I have able to play enough defense to stop what was that oncoming assault from um, from hardcore noobs but the try going to drop there is going to go down as they were spotted out there
about uh, 40 most less than 40 uh, almost about 30 seconds left into this game and I tap need a miracle push to win this game and to keep this set going as two down are currently on the side of hardcore noobs as I tap are looking to finally uh, get to this first checkpoint if they are able to but I believe some picks coming in from behind the K pro coming in from behind gonna get two, one gonna get two and that is pot that is probably gonna be game there for hardcore noobs as that is game as hardcore noobs take hardcore noobs take little squid league uh, six four to one over itap and and they are your champs so a great showing from both teams in this grand finals and a great showing from hardcore noobs if they showed some great play there so hardcore noobs will finish first um, ITAP will finish at a respectable second and Labyrinth X will finish at third with Tuniverse finishing at fourth that the score of that set was three to two in Labyrinth X favor and for the placings for our for the rest of our top eight Omega Rush tie for fifth Clownfish also tied for fifth. The Villain Academy also tied for fifth. And No Diving also coming in tying for fifth. So that is, well, that is all we have for Little Squid League today. We hope that you all enjoyed. Please feel free if you were playing or even watching to leave any feedback or anything you think could have possibly been done better or anything with the tournament stream or even commentary as I am always open to feedback we hope that you enjoyed watching I have been your commentator along with uh, along with Ke uh, Kara um, who is who unfortunately could not join me for top cut Who unfortunately could not join me for Top Cut, but they were on the mic with me for Switch Stage. But I hope you enjoyed um, the gameplay, the commentary, and everything about Little Squid League. As we will be back sometime in October with Little Squid League 7. We hope that you consider signing up in the future. And that is all. Thank you all for watching. And have a nice day.